skin. Grapes, my skin. Yes. So where are we going, guys? We're going to church. We're going to church, and then we'll come back and celebrate my birthday. Okay. We'll come back and celebrate my birthday. We have a bride lined up today, so hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy this vlog because I look pretty and I feel pretty, oh, and yes, I'm just, I'm just ready to rock and enjoy this day. So we'll see you guys. We're going to church, and then we'll come back and do more stuff. Hi, hi, Fulu. Hey, hi, focus. Yo. <laughs> yo, 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 what am, what am I up to? All hi, right. Man. Yes, how are you, girl? I'm good. Oh, my God, glasses. Oh, you're looking so pretty. I like the dress. Oh, thank it's you. It's really nice. I can thank really you. say it was made for you, hey? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> how are you feeling today? I am feeling amazing. I am mm -hmm. happy. Mm -hmm. I'm content. Mm -hmm. And I'm just thinking, oh, God, you are good. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. What are we celebrating today? Why are you looking so pretty? My What's the special location? Oh, wow. Okay, 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 okay. We see you. Wow. Girl, how do you work out? You've got such an amazing body. Yo. <coughs> do you even work out at all? Or it's just oh, no, good? No, honey. I work. You do? I work. Okay, girl. We see you. All right. Work for my body. I mm -hmm. work. Yeah, I know. So I, I try to do indoor exercises. Mm -hmm. I haven't been really consistent at going to the gym, mm -hmm. but I try to go to the gym every now and again. Okay. You know, just to get the adrenaline and to keep fit. That's good. That's good. We like that. Yeah. We like that. Okay. We see you glowing, girl. All right. What is the one thing that you're most proud of about yourself? The one thing that I'm most proud of about myself mm -hmm. is that. I had opportunities to be discouraged, mm -hmm. to give up, but mm -hmm. I never did. Oh wow, that's and nice. I'm grateful that I did it. Okay. Because I wouldn't be here today. Oh wow, that's really nice. Okay, what is the one thing you've learned in the past 24 years of existence? Yo, 24 years is a long time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but if I, if I, if I, three things. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I can pick like three, right? Mm -hmm. Um, number one, I'd say. Oh, mm -hmm. should I move now? Yes. Let's take a young walk. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So number one, I'd say never be afraid of what people would think about you mm -hmm. such that it stops you from pursuing your dreams. I like that. I like that. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, I'd say life is a lot easier with God. Wow. Um, Powerful that stuff. That should have been number one even. Yeah. Actually, life, yes. Life is way easier with God mm -hmm. because then you, you learn that you don't rely on your own strength. Mm -hmm. But there is a God who gives the strength for each and every single day of oh, your life. We like that. Growing. We like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the third thing is child mm. dream. Right. Like, child. Yes, girl. Just continue to dream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And make sure that you follow through with actions you mm -hmm, know mm -hmm. those dreams as well make them happen mm -hmm. never be afraid to be you know proactive to go to someone and be like this is what i think this mm -hmm. is what i want to do mm -hmm. are you able to help me mm -hmm. that has helped me a lot in terms of opportunities and just being in line with the right people okay yes. let's turn the tables a bit Ooh. what is the one thing you're not proud of or something that you wish you could do better something i wish i can do better mm -hmm. I should really give myself a break sometimes. Right. I think I'm I too do hard agree with that. Myself, yeah. Completely I'm agree. Too hard on myself. Mm -hmm. So giving myself a break, mm -hmm. I think that will be really, really, really useful. Do you think that will free up some time to do other stuff that you enjoy, maybe? Definitely. Okay. Definitely, because I push myself so hard, mm -hmm. and sometimes I'm just like, dude. Still young. We like, need to slow down, we right? Slow down a bit. Okay, yeah. I see you've got someone in the background. Who's there? Hi, 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 hi girl. Do you wanna say hi? Oh, is she your friend, sister? What's going on here? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I see. Three hours. Oh wow. And the way the colors are complimenting. Okay. So I want each of us to share um, where we know Fulu from and our first impression of her. So each of us is going to get an opportunity to speak. Fulu, you can come sit. Here. Fulu, you can come sit. Hello. 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 Hello.
Yeah. yeah, I think we should set the side since they're Yeah, let's start there. Yes. We are the easy. We are the easy. Oh, what's your name? 2016. That's the first time. Um, I think. Oh, this. Okay, so I'm asking. So you must say their names, right? Your names. Your name. Oh, my name. Yes. Say your name, and then where you know her from, and whatever else you want to say about. All right. My name is Eva. Okay. <laughs> so I know from 20, 2016. Okay. I think Ms. Denny introduced me to her. Okay. Um, the first impression I it was like, yeah, this girl, she's smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Next, are we going this way or? Yeah, we might as well take it all round. Can't you go that way? No, <laughs> no I'm kidding. Here. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? Do you oh. Okay. Um, my name is Maramba, mm -hmm. and uh, when I first, when did I first meet you? <laughs> I don't know. So I think I first met her in 2012. I was doing grade eight. She was doing grade nine. Yeah. She was the top learner, very smart. I used to see her going to the YCM. <laughs> she used to love God so much. Yeah, that's used how to, I know her. Used to. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, my name is Mutakusi Beshi and Ragimana, but ju just call me Besh. Um, Fulu, 2011. Um, <laughs> we were classmates throughout high school, so yeah. yeah. First nice. impressions, interesting, and yeah, um, she's smart. She's smart. <laughs> smart. <laughs> smart. Okay. Very smart. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, have you sang with Dona? Yeah. Um, I don't remember the year we met. <laughs> 2014. 2014. I don't even remember what grade that was. Um, hey, follow the numbers. But you can already see that she's uh, quite intelligent, um, very quick to think on her feet. Um, we met, we met at, um, you know, those cool things that we used to do, men. For, for intelligent people. Yes! I love this! So my best impression of her was that she was just, I mean, obviously when you're in a group of, I'd say, people who are overachievers, um, she was one person who showed a sense of humility, you know, just um, being grounded um, and just not out there with her achievements. And um, I think that was something that would draw people to come to her to say who is this person mm. um but yeah that's my first impression cool. um farisani um i think i met her in 20, 2016 at a bono foundation yeah. event mm. my first impression was she's like proper hyper and super energetic <laughs> and yeah i think she asked me at that point to mentor her oh. i still don't understand it to this on day facebook. oh it was on facebook yeah. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere there that's where i met her hello sir yeah. Yeah, I still don't understand why, but yeah, yeah. Hello, that's how I met it. Hmm. Interesting. Sharon? Oh, hi, I'm Shaz. I met Fulu in 2018 at Mamukheti's house. Woo! Yeah, that's where we met. Ah, name dropping. Eh? Who is Mamukheti? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the oh, UCT on, Vice Chancellor. Oh, okay. She's just playing with me. Hi. Ah, we are Best impressions? <laughs> First impressions of Kulu. Yo! Yeah. I thought she was beautiful, hey? Like, I was just like, gosh, this woman is so gorgeous. Like, she was so pretty. Mm -hmm. um, and I also love the fact that she was very, I don't want to say outspoken, but she was like quite confident in her speech when we were like engaging and all of that. And I loved it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Dima, I met for 2016. At yeah. You can't. <laughs> yeah, we met uh, UCT, SDF. Yeah, that's where we met, church stuff. And. And she used to love the Lord. 
No, she still loves the Lord very much. <laughs> um first impression of course cause chawa <laughs> uh but very humble indeed she was like yeah that younger sister we just gelled so yeah <laughs> mr best I'm kidding, I'm, kidding, I'm kidding uh my name is best <laughs> Um, I met Fulu in Cape Town. I can't remember which year, I won't lie. <laughs> um, yeah, but my first impression of her is very hardworking and very respectful. Yeah, those are the two out of many, I can say. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hi, my name is Tumelo. Uh, I met Fulu in 93. We used to be activists together. <laughs> now, it's now we met in 2016, I think. Um, I saw her at Festival of Praise. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think you were reciting a poem. A poem, and stuff. Yeah. And then, yeah. First impression was that she's a creative, she's very smart, and God fearing mm. as well. And an activist. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> Hello. Hi. My name is Graham. Uh, I met Fudu. I think it was 2017. Uh, in Varsity, the deep trenches of uh, actuarial <laughs> science. So, yeah, back then things were tough. Yeah. But I think uh, what drew me to, to Fudu was uh, her optimism. You know, uh, it was a very sunny disposition. Um, many people have mentioned she's smart. I think that goes without saying. But uh, yeah, amongst many smart people, you, you're drawn to those who are humble. So, so. True. That's cute. I'm sweet. <laughs> hey. Be humble. Be humble. I said you, not me. <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. My name is Victor. Uh, the first time I saw Fulu, that would have been on TV watching the oh, wow. top of the um but uh we studied yeah uh we studied actual science together but i didn't really get to meet her till about second year uh then we worked a lot together in final year as well as third year uh, my first impression well between the gap we already knew that this was fulu and not ever speaking to her she was just a person in class that um livens everything up so even if you don't necessarily speak to her like going to class to see such people like it made the environment that much that was better. the reason behind some people attending lectures exactly. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> might as well put it out there <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I now need to take back that <laughs> <laughs> I'm just okay my name is Rofiwa I think I met Furu in her first year probably at a bursary event and I remembered her because I was very excited to have another vendor girl in the bursary um, so I was immediately drawn to her I think we exchanged numbers on that same day um, and she's a very open very friendly person so she really draws you in and I think that that year you're doing your first year of VAC work and I remember she was staying at my place i was like she was you know when you don't know someone they're like ah can i stay at your place you're like ah, i'm not sure but food was like oh can i stay at your place during that quick i was like yeah sure please come through and she challenged me a lot and i'll never forget <laughs> that time because uh, the first night uh we're about to go to sleep and she looks at me and she says What's your favorite verse in the Bible? <laughs> yeah. I remember I was scratching my head like, yeah, I go to church, but I don't have like a favorite verse. And here's this young kid challenging me on my Christianity. And and from there on I was like, okay, I need to read my Bible, because clearly. <laughs> um but yeah um i think we've been we've been close ever since um we she's the kind of person where i don't have to talk to her every day but if i check on her at least once a month i know this i have a little sister in her um but yeah 
That that's my story with the photo. That is it. <laughs> okay. Um, hi everyone. Um, my name is Daisy. I met Fulu in 2017. We were on main road buying notes. <laughs> and then I met her in the line. She does not remember this. So I met her three times. It took her like three weeks to remember my name. No. Uh, um, <laughs> so yeah, I think my first impression of her is she's like full of life, uh, very determined person, uh, resilient. Yeah. It's me. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Rodindera and I met Furu in 2014, probably through Bono, yeah, I think it was Bono Motivation Week. Uh, my impression of her was she's very smart, she just gotten like top one in the province, in the in nationally, and she was working with us at Bono as if like she's just, you know, she was not trying to act like... Yeah, that's, that was my first impression of her. Last one. Uh, okay, hi, uh, my name is Nsundeni. And, yo, for, I think, I can't remember the year, really. But we were in high school. Uh, firstly, I knew her because she was a top student in a class. Um, but how I got to meet her for the first time, she wanted to ask something about, I think it's meds. I can't even science. remember if it's math. Science. It's science, right? Science. Yeah. Science. Physical science. sciences. Yeah. 2013. 2013. Um, she was in grade. Details for me. She was in grade 10 and I was in grade 12. And then yeah. I was like, yeah, this kid, she's in grade 10, but she's already asking about this thing. And my impression was that she dynamite. Like, um, she she's small in physics, in size but very big on character and she she was very um optimistic and full of energy and you could see the ambition she um she she displayed a lot of energy um around everything that she was doing and yeah you can see that was the first impression of her uh -uh, no <laughs> No. I've never met her. <laughs> what are you doing here? No. You just came for the meat. Hey. The only honest person here. No. When did I meet you? First year varsity was what? 2016? Yeah. Yeah. So I met Furu 2016. I don't even remember if it was SCF or. Oh, I, I met her through Ndibo, uh, Rodi's friend, right? She was that child who used to stay at Fula and she was going through the most. <laughs> I was there for her. Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, not academics, but other stuff. No, still. I'm kidding, honestly speaking. I think yeah, I met you through Ndibo. And then we would go to ACF together, she would do my hair and all of that. And I think, yeah, the relationship was just natural. Like, she was one person I regarded as my little sister. And I'm so glad that um, we still managed to maintain our friendship even on this side of the country. But anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I think first impression of her, yes, really smart, hardworking. And um, Puru was very strict on herself. The one thing I remember the most, we would have Sunday meetings, right, as exit. And if the meeting is supposed to end at 4, at 4, Fulu will pack her bag She's like, and leave. <laughs> Whether we are done or not, she will tell you guys, I've got a study session with this person, I need to leave. Like, she would not compromise on her academics. Also, the, her faith, the, I think that's one thing that challenges us the most. Last night, like, I, I was gone. Like, I was too tired. I had just passed out and she's like, no, 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 let's pray. I'm like, how? We're going to church tomorrow. <laughs> and even this morning before church, she's like, guys, let's pray. I'm like, come on, we're going to church. So I think those are some of the things that she really does not compromise on. Her faith, her academics, and also, I think this was the one weekend where you didn't do any studying, right? Yeah. Like, Fulu does not have weekends, guys. Call her Saturday morning, she'll tell you, no, I've got a study session at 1. 
Sunday after church. No, I need to rush. I've got this. So I think that those are some of the things that I really learned from you. And also, you're very sound in your advice. You, she's like 18 years younger than me. <laughs> 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 but every time when I'm going through the most, I'm like, girl, this is what's going on. Um, do you have some advice and all of that? So I'm glad to have you as my friend, sister, and all of that. But yeah. And oh, one thing. I think it's safe to say that I know everyone by name here. I do. <laughs> okay. It's fine. That's it. All right. All right. All right. Sasanda, yes. Oh, hi everyone. <laughs> we forgot you. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah. um, my name is Sisanda. I met Fulu last year at the Asa. Asa what? That convention. Yeah, convention. convention. Well, then, the, the intro one. The, the intro. Oh, I saw okay. whatever, like for newbies. Yeah. Type of thing. I was like, you guys are at the convention <laughs> already. <laughs> yes, yes. I saw newbies, whatever. Yeah. We met yeah. there. Yeah. And my Asa, first. What's Asa? Asa. Um, Asa, don't do that. Actuarial. No, asking. someone asked. Actuarial. Society. 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 Of know. South Africa. Don't know. <laughs> of South Africa. Yeah, and my first impressions of her, she was very, very kind. Um, Someone mentioned that when you're in a space where like the smart people are around, you already know the vibe. But Fulu was just like different. You could see the substance in her. And I was so glad when she took my numbers so that she can send me my pictures. Because <laughs> I knew it's gonna go down. She's my tribe. So yeah. <laughs> wow. Hey, doctor. <laughs> What's Mr. Up? Selfish doctor who decided to save himself. The I got my degree time. from the streets. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> so he must look up for number one. Was a strategy. Yeah? <laughs> that was it's like it was a strategy. No, look. In the previous game, what happened was there was two mafias and one doctor left, right? Or something. I don't know. Like there were more mafias than civilians, right? So the doctor kept saving themselves to a point where they were able to like you know pinpoint who the mafia was at the end. Oh, so, so you, you were just playing he the said, long game. He yeah, he and we won. And that is it. He, he All the other times he's been saving himself. You saved yourself when it mattered. Hey, and everyone was watching. <laughs> Will you do it? <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think he was. Must be the one. Yeah, yeah. Good time. Yeah. Actually, taken over Fulu's <laughs> channel. Hi. Thank Hi, you for Fulu. taking over my channel. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for taking the moment. It's a pleasure. Can you please remove your can you kindly remove your mask? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Fulu. Happy birthday to you. So today is the day after the bri, so Monday, my actual birthday and I just thought let me wrap up the bri video and let you guys in on some gifts that I got and I hope this is fun. We're just wrap, wrapping it up um and funny enough let me just laugh because i got a lot of books i don't know what my friends are saying about me but um yo those people bought me books hey yo okay this is i feel like this is gonna be a fab when women pray by td jakes and i think this is gonna be one of you know the best ones and this one has a message so the person says for all other occasions especially when the full price is high <laughs> okay we'll pray for the full price to come down 
and oh okay i won't read out this because i think this is personal but i'll read it out in my own time and they bought me glasses listen there's also a note inside Yer, guys i'm super excited so this one says you know you must look good for that speed camera <laughs> oh my gosh how did this look on me guys listen i feel pretty okay okay i feel pretty you guys you will be seeing this a lot on my instagram listen i am ready this person literally went all out they also bought me another pair and they said for when you get out of the car oh my goodness look at this i can see myself you know parking and then getting out of the car putting this on like how are they? Mm. Hi guys, uh, I feel like every day should be my birthday because I can do with all of these gifts every day. They bought two more. This is it. <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness. So I had opened this gift yesterday. So that's why I'm like, I saw this. Let's see the message with this one. So this one says, when you're in the car <laughs> adhering to the speed limits okay like how do i look you know hi hello ah i feel like summer i am ready with all the sunglasses guys i am so ready i am so ready summer we are ready the last pair i love 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 this black ones because I'm just like, you can rock black with anything, right? You can zhuzh it up all the time. For when you get into the car. <laughs> My friends are wild. Oh, thank you so much. This is amazing. I love, love, love this. I love, love, love the sunglasses. So we are done with that. Let's move on to this one. Ooh, I wonder what this is. Happy birthday. Oh, it's chocolates. Handcrafted, handmade Belgian chocolates and truffles. Yes. I mean, I love chocolate, so I will have so much fun chowing those. But I'm not the type to finish them, like, you know, in a day or so. Oh, this is so beautiful. A plant, you know, cute. I am adding this my deco collection you know added on to the collection we are we are ready oh yeah so i got this back last week um and look at this look at this look at this how cool is this and i can rock this with with something you'll see on my instagram stay tuned for my instagram because Honey, I'm about to glow up. I'm, I'm about to glow up. And then there is a set of earrings. Like, Mrs. Bling Bling. I will be there with the earrings, you know, because why not? Why not? Why not? Why can't we glow up? And then I've got books, more books. <laughs> but I really, really love this one. So lean in right so women work and the will to lead and i just love that the person who bought this actually has actually read this so they were like this is perfect for someone starting out their career and all of that you know the salary negotiation conversations uh taking credit for your work you know in the being in a space designed and made for and by men it's really really useful and i'm proud to say the author i know the author of this book he is my friend and he just released you know this book and he gifted this to me and he was like you are excellent continue so in today's to excel shout out to to Danny, the author and you guys must go you know buy his book as well you see you must have a network of friends who sing friends who write books friends who are there and then there is this one does this one no okay i'm not reading out messages oh my god let's see what is in here this one was wrapped guys fully 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 wrapped eh? 
let's see what is inside yo hopefully i don't Ooh, all right what is this oh my goodness it smells so good it's a candle if you know me you would know that i love 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 candles so this is perfect mm. Mm, mm, mm. this is perfect yo people are fancy out here ne? Mm, woolies. Okay. 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 We are definitely moving. Um. Oh yeah, I've opened the books. And then another gift. No, oh, guys. What is this? Ooh, another candle. See? Pay attention. Pay attention. I love candles. So this is another candle and it's fragrance candle white tea and berry i know it's gonna smell great i need to just figure out how to open it <laughs> i need to figure out how to open it but and lint Ooh. milk and hazelnuts yeah i love i love chocolate i don't love white chocolate i don't love dark chocolate so whoever got this they just knew they, they got the right toys. Ooh, and then we move on. Ooh, guys, I have a whole jar now. Proud jar owner, guys. This is amazing. How do you open this? You Kosyam. Ooh, okay. That's it. That's it. Oh, this is so beautiful. I just have to figure out what I'm gonna put in here. But it can be a nice, you know, sweet jar. I can put my sweets in here. I'll figure out what to put inside. But very, very thoughtful gifts. And did I tell you I just became a plant mom? I don't know. This thing is tall, so I don't know if you're gonna see. I have an orchard now. I'm a whole plant mom. Okay, I do have plants here. Uh, two died. <laughs> Two died. Two died. One survived. So I'm gonna keep this one alive. <laughs> My death rate hasn't been too good so far, but I'm definitely gonna keep this one alive. And then look at this. I got a whole bag. Guys, every day should be my birthday. Yes. Every day should just be my birthday so that I get more gifts like this. Next time you will see me there by the streets, man. I'll be carrying these. I'll be carrying this cute bag. I feel like it's stylish, it's brown, so it's gonna go with a lot of things that I have. And it's also big enough for me to carry my stuff. You know, you wanna carry your phone, you wanna carry, you know, maybe something like an extra jacket or something if it's cold. So I am sorted. Then the last one, this one is supposed to make my home more homey, right? Guys, here. Listen, listen. This is the jam. This is the jam. You know, when we're eating, when we are eating, our oh, yeah, chair, this is the jam. I am so excited and I cannot, cannot wait to use all of my gifts. And, you know, to all my friends, I just want to say thank you so much for all the gifts, all the love, for coming, for just making the bride the most amazing thing ever. I wouldn't have chosen any other people to actually come. So thank you so much for coming, for your time, you know, for your hands, for helping me prepare, setting it up and all the jazz that we went through. I appreciate you so much. You really, really, really made my day. And today I'm just relaxing because we celebrated so much yesterday. It was so much fun having you around. So thank you so much from the 24 year olds of me. I just wanna say bye. I love you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, bye.